Hey guys, Sam from Aaron's Outdoor, and today I'm at a little creek trying out a new lure that I've never used before. It's actually, it's not a new lure, but it's a lure that I've never used. And that would be this Berkeley Gulp Alive Cricket right here, which comes in this little jar filled with all this juice in it. I typically do not use these Gulp products just because that juice is really strong and it's kind of annoying to get on your hands while fishing. But the fish do actually really like that juice and it makes them hold on to the bait a little bit longer in general. I've even though I haven't used the cricket before, I've used like the gulp one inch minnow, caught a bunch of fish on that. So that's what I'm gonna be trying out today. I, I'm putting it on, on a little trout magnet, 164 ounce jig head. It's the long shank jig head, so it's a little bit longer and it'll be able to fit those crickets a little bit better. So anyway, I'm gonna put that on and hopefully get to catching some fish. Well, I already spilled the juice in my hand a tiny bit and it sure does stink, but the fish love this stuff. All right, there we go. That is how I'll be starting off with this lure today. Uh, I think that should work pretty well. Oh, I had him, I have him. Dude, he was chewing on this for so long. I guess it just proves how effective this gulp stuff is. Even though it smells really bad and it's kind of annoying to get on your hands, it totally catches fish. I couldn't see the bait. I thought it was on the bottom, but this guy just had it in his mouth for like 10 seconds. That's really good. Anyway, first fish of the day, a uh, beautiful little red breast sunfish. And this place is filled with these guys, but there's still a few bass in here, a few green sunfish, a few bluegills. So maybe we'll catch some other fish too. Anyway, that was my first cast. I already got one. So it's definitely a good sign. I'll let them go. Oh, they're attacking it. Oh, got him. Dude, another nice one. They are really attacking this thing. This one looks even cooler than the last one. A little bit more orange on his fins. But these are two pretty decent sized red breasts from this creek. There's definitely a bunch of small ones in here, but this creek is a little bit bigger than like a little tiny trout magnet like I typically use here. And so far it's brought out a couple bigger sunfish, but I'll definitely take that guy. Anyway, second fish of the day, that might have been my second cast, either my second or my third. I'm trying not to scare the fish too much because there's a bunch right here. Sometimes after they notice you, they'll really be a lot more scared and not bite as much. Got him. Dude, I'm pretty sure this is my third cast and my third fish. Uh, this one's a lot smaller. They're actually like... When my line, the tip of my line is touching the top of the water, the fish are like attacking that. They really want something a little bit higher in the water column. And as I was reeling this in, like about an inch from the surface, this tiny little guy hit it. And uh, whoa, he's a lot smaller than the last we caught. But I'll take him, he's pretty dirty there, but he'll wash off. One's got it. Nice. Dude, that's four casts and four fish. It's usually not too hard to catch him here, but Last time I was here, I did not catch this many this fast. So I'll take him. Another, this is probably an average size one about. Maybe a little bit smaller than average. But I'll take him. Oh, immediately. Does he have it? Oh no. One had it, but didn't have it in his mouth. All right, there's my first cast without a fish, but it's still got multiple bites. They just kind of messed it up and didn't get hooked. So many fish attacking it right now. Oh, so many fish just went attacking this. Sometimes you just gotta move to a different part of the creek to, for some new fish to see it. Got him. There we go. I got the bigger one that was biting it. <laughs> Didn't mean to just drag him across that whole area, but here, let me wash him off real quick. All right, well, there we go. Fifth fish of the day, another beautiful one. Um, and no, this is not my fifth cast. I seriously did catch four of my very four first casts. This is probably a good 20 casts later, though. But he ate the cricket. Um, they're just 
totally loving this cricket today. And so far, I would definitely recommend it. But anyway, here's another one. You got him. Dude, there's just a pack of them. There's just a whole school of fish chasing this one little lure. And basically, only the bigger ones can get it. There's a bunch of tiny ones trying to get it, but only a few, I think, are big enough. Anyway, that's our sixth fish of the day. I'm pulling up on a new spot. Don't want to spook the fish, so I'm standing pretty far back. Oh, one's got it. There we go. It's always good, whenever you're fishing a creek, you want to stand at least like 10 feet from the bank uh, when you make your first cast in a new spot. So that might be the end of this cricket. It's pretty worn down now, but it, at least it lasted seven fish. I mean, that's pretty good. And there's a bunch of them that come in that jar. That jar is only like $6. And I think it has like 20 of them in there, something like that. But anyway, this one's not as cool looking, but I'll take him. Oh, but I will take him. Oh wow, now this water is crystal clear today. And I bet there's a ton of fish underneath this little waterfall. There almost always is. They're biting it right now, I can tell. Got one. First one over here by the waterfall. Oh look, it's a different species. Here's our first green sunfish of the day. It's pretty small, but... All right, well the only bad thing about fishing up here is I do have to give the fish a little plop, but they're always fine. There we go, second one from over here. What is it? Okay, it's another green sunfish. For whatever reason, I think the green sunfish seem to like this waterfall. Oh, okay, well before this guy flopped off, I was just saying that the green sunfish typically like this waterfall more than uh, other species of fish. Got him. Well, this is not a green sunfish. It's not only green sunfish over here, there's red breasts too. But uh, there we go. I mean, I have been slaying them on this cricket today. That's another really cool looking red breast. But uh, I mean, they love this cricket. I think this is my ninth fish of the day. And this is only my second cricket, so they do last, you know, quite a few fish per cricket. Ooh, got one. This one seems bigger. It's not too bad. Oh yeah, this is a this is a nice green sunfish. I mean, not too big, but bigger than the other two green sunfish we caught. Ooh, I think he came back for it. Yeah, that's a better green sunfish. Well, this is a tiny bit bigger than the last one we caught. It's about the same size, but I'll take him. All right, y'all, I'm gonna try to do some creek wading now just because it's so hot and I have these waders on and it's starting to sweat a bunch, but uh, I, hopefully I won't scare the fish too much like this. It might not be as good fishing like this, but I don't know, I'm just gonna try it out. Go on, there we go. First one wading. That uh, took a lot longer than it did when I was on the bank, but Oh well, I finally got one. This is a little green sunfish. Pretty cool looking one. Oh. Anyway, there he goes. Got one. Oh! That was a much better one. I mean, probably not any bigger than the biggest one we caught, but it's a lot better than the last one. Got him. Oh, this is not the same fish that had it earlier. But another green sunfish. Oh, and he took the little uh, cricket. That cricket, I think, only lasted two fish. I put a third one on just because the second one was so beat up. But there we go. Another little little guy. Oh, oh I was going to get a better looking release, but he got away. I can see him swimming right there. Okay, so it is the next day now, but I sure did catch a bunch of fish at that creek using that cricket. I definitely was not expecting to catch as many fish as I caught. I think I caught 13 sunfish in total. They were all 
either red breast sunfish or green sunfish. And if y'all want to pick up these crickets, I'll have a link for them down below. They only cost me $6 and they were free shipping from Amazon. So they're definitely a pretty good deal and they work really well. And if you want the same hooks I was using, they come in this little trout magnet trout slayer kit off Amazon, uh, which is only $7. So I'll have a link down for this below too, but um, you definitely don't have to use the same jig heads I was using to catch fish. I'm sure there's a bunch of different hooks and a bunch of different jig heads that will work well for that cricket. But also, one thing I would suggest to you, if you end up buying the crickets, definitely put them in a small plastic bag after you open that jar because sometimes that gulp stuff can leak out and it could ruin your tackle box or your tackle bag. So make sure to put it in a plastic bag after you open it. But anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But I will catch you guys on that next video. And as always, thanks for watching.